Hello. 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 How are you? You guys having fun today? Yeah. Are you guys having fun? Um, yes. We are at Comic Con. It is amazing. So I'm very happy to be here. As so when you're when you're having a scene where you have to you got to pet Wilfred or you got you know because you see him as a dog, yeah. is it are those scenes difficult for you because you're looking right at Jason's face but then you have to scratch him behind the ears like he's a dog? Definitely. I mean, you know, Jason's like one of my really good friends, and so sometimes it can just be so silly to look at your good friend and, and like treating him like that. But um, I, so there's that, and then sometimes I, like, the thing is. If he was a real dog, I would pet him someone differently, and, and that's always hard. But I'm like, oh god, like I, I, like I hope people really can like stretch their imagination to know the reason I'm petting him or at this angle is because he's a person in a suit, and I have to like keep that in mind. I have to keep like camera angles and like I mean like so um, there's there's also that aspect, and then just worrying about like am I gonna hit his mic or I can't move the suit when I pet him. So like there's so much technical stuff that goes into such a simple action. So I think sometimes those things kind of bog me down more than the fact that it's Jason. How is, looking at this season and seeing now this investigation of what Wilfred is for Ryan, that the, the story, the triangle with, with Jenna has um, now become kind of the B story in a sense. Um, how how has that changed your approach this season, or like, are you now like more anticipating like when you do get some some interaction with both Ryan and then and the friends? Well, I think in terms of my approach, one of the things that has greatly changed for Jenna this season is just that it, she's more of a person as opposed to just being like sweet and bright and bubbly, and so I get to you know explore that side. But she's definitely flawed. She's not perfect. Um, you know, it's. Like, I, one person asked me about, you know, when she calls him her dog sitter, she's not trying to be mean. She's not, their friendship isn't, it's not that their friendship is necessarily in the rocks. It's just that Jenna is not, she's not perfect. She's just a person trying to help out a friend and doesn't necessarily know the right things to say or the best way to do it. She just knows he needs money and she's trying to help because she, she cares about him and, and you know, I, I, I do, so anyways, I may, I'm really enjoying getting to understand and explore that side of her. Um, and yes, obviously I want to work more, <laughs> that's always, you know, but I do know, like, what, I, I, I like, I'd rather, I guess, like, work less on stuff that's like really, really meaty and fun like that than, you know, as opposed to just being like, hey, you know, for a second. Like, I, I do like that when I am working and then, deeper and darker stuff and there's more to it so as an actor it's just it's fun to actually get to work on that stuff well, and David said too that we're looking at uh, more of what's going on with Wilfred as opposed to just looking at what's going on with Ryan do, do we see later in the season more of what's going on with, between Wilfred and Jenna you know you definitely uh, uh, yeah later in the season Jenna's storyline, like things really start to change for her, and you get, you really see a lot more of, of her. Um, you know, yeah, like I know it's been like a little light in the beginning, but like as the season develops, you see a lot more, and you you really start to understand her. And I think what's so great about that is that's really going to set up some stuff for her in the future, and I'm really excited to get to deal with that and, as an actor. So the immediate time. It's just spot on. It's incredible. Do you feel that there's a formula for good comedic TV? Um, <laughs> I, I, I think that people are either funny or they're not. <laughs> and I think it's definitely something that's like innate in people. I think that comes from, I think, loving comedy and watching comedy and understanding comedy. And um, you know, I have friends that are like, Oh, help me have this audition for my comedy show and I'm like well do you watch sitcoms and they're like no and I'm like well then you're not gonna you're not gonna you know you need to you need to understand it we have Randall Einhorn who is just a genius directing our show I mean he he understands comedy like I think no one else and I think he's one of the top comedic people in our industry right now you also have Elijah and Jason who are just very very funny and, and Jason to me is a comedic genius one of the funniest people I know personally and artistically and some of the stuff he does the show is amazing. So, um, and then our writers, they get it. Like they just, they get the funny. And I, I say, 
is our formula. I think comedy is always evolving. Um, it's a reaction of what's happening in society. Fat and there's comedic trends that are just kind of trends, and uh, and you can see it in. in the way you watch like different shows, like there's sitcoms, but then there's also shows like Happy Endings, there's Parks and Rec, there's The Office, like there's different styles to comedy. But, and then, I mean, then you, I was just watching I, I Love Lucy the other day, which is one of my favorite comedies, and you see like even that is still funny. Like real funny is always funny, and, and um, but one of the things I think that Wilford does so well is it balances the, the silly humor, but also the intellectual humor, and then it also finds a way to make most stuff real. And, and to me, that's what I find most funny, too. Absolutely. It was a really long answer. I'm sorry. No, it's fine. You know, I'm sure the chemistry between the cast has a big part of that, too, because when you get a cast that can gel together, like you guys do, it obviously has a big effect on everything, too. I think so. And, and when, you, when, you, when you love each other and then when you trust each other, I think that's important. Um, because again, like everyone there is so nice, and you, you hear about people on other shows where there's fighting and drama, and I'm like, oh my god, we are so blessed. Like it's not, it's not like that. And, and when you can actually tease each other or be silly, or you can, you're not afraid to take risks. I mean, Jason will do stuff with Wilfred that is is so unique, and even this season, he'll just, he's always trying something different. And if you don't, if you feel comfortable enough to make those risks and to try something, I think that's when some of the true comedy can develop. And speak surprise yourself. Has there ever been subject matter on the show that you went? I, I, I oh yeah. I, I mean, there's definitely jokes where I'm like, are they going to get this on the air? Um, and I've been, you know, very surprised. And then there's certain things where I'm like, oh, is that kind of offensive? Um, and then there's even things that like, um, yeah, there's definitely, there's definitely been that time. But I have a very dark sense of humor. And I, I think that in order to get through things, you kind of have to be able to laugh about them. And sometimes humor actually helps you to understand things even better. So um, I think it's, yeah. One of the things I think is really unique about Jenna is that uh, there's so much question between Wilfred and Ryan, what's real, what's not. But yet your interactions with Ryan are very real. Um, we talk about um, maybe going to those spaces, especially those tender moments where you're that emotional shoulder for him, um, and that you are physically, we know we can trust that moment between you two. Um, you know, it's been really fun this season getting to work with Elijah. We've really, like I told him one day, I'm like, I'm really enjoying this. Like, we got, we got, we've been able to do a lot of one-on-one -on -one stuff. And uh, I really, I don't know, I really, I, I do love, he's such an easy person to talk to. And so when we're acting and doing these truthful moments, I, I just, it feels real and it, it just feels so, it feels so easy. Um, I'm sorry, to answer your question, I got this document. He walked oh, no, up with no, it. Is there anything else? Well, no, it's just, I, I know that um, it's something that's very, very powerful, I think, between those two characters, because they are friends, they are, they're, we can trust that, that interaction, and that it's not some kind of ruse, or some kind of trick. And, that is true, uh, yeah. Because with, with Wilfred, you never really know what, I mean, people are always like, well, what is Wilfred? Is he a guardian angel? Is he a devil? Like, what does he really want? What are his intentions? Like, does he, can, can Ryan trust him? And you don't know, and I, and I yeah, with, with Ryan and Jenna, you know, you, you know that they really do care for each other. Um, but, you know, even with Ryan, sometimes his his actions are done because he, he likes her. And, and so maybe that's not always the most honest thing, but at least it's real. And, and um, but yeah, they do, they do really care about each other. And I think it is nice to have that balance on the show. That is another thing that the show does really nicely is balance, you know, the real with the emperor, the the bad, and, and all that. Thank you so much. Have a really fun time this weekend. You too. Yeah. Is this the kind that you strap to like a, a helmet? Yeah, they're GoPros. Yeah. And